South Dakota. It is Thursday, I think. Yeah, it's Thursday. And uh, slept good. It's gonna be hot on the day though. Let's see the sun out. Get a little sun on my nose, so it's gonna be a gonna be a sunblock kind of day, I'm afraid. And. Uh, yeah, that's tender. But anyway, plan today is heading back down the Mount Rushmore area. We might do Iron Mountain Road the other way. And then we're going to do the Custer State Park Wildlife Loop, Scenic Wildlife Loop. Go to toodle on down to Hot Springs and uh, check that out. And then we're going down to Nebraska just to say we kid so yeah and then we'll see what happens after that all right well we, we just did iron mountain road which i think is way over that way somewhere and then we've been in custer state park for well probably 20 miles it's all 35 25 15 10 mile an hour pretty cool and this is the uh, bison center. So we're gonna we're gonna go in here and look around. Seen some, uh, seen a couple of pronghorn antelope out there. But uh, I think the bison are all undercover right now because it's hot and it's getting hotter. All right. If you're ever out this way, Custer State Park, definitely want to come into the Bison Center. This is really, really neat. Look at this guy. Did you see him? That's got to be four feet from this horn to horn. Oh yeah. Very informational. And, uh, Brand new, just opened this spring. Very nice. I don't know how well this is gonna work. I'm riding, I'm driving the motorcycle. side of the road we seen a big old bull he was a monster out there all by himself that guy's walking right down the bottom of the creek bed they're up close to the road up here but I'm not gonna have the camera in my hand when I go by him and just like that we'll find another herd this is zoomed all the way in I think but uh, and there's some up in front of this van too. But there's trails all over the along the road here for the last five miles where they've been walking. Shutter bug. That little guy's flat out, he's taking a nap. <laughs> Underneath what I think is an ash tree. They still got ash trees down here. That's pretty cool. But anyway, we're at the mammoth site. From the way I understand, they were in here excavating for a house to build a building. 
and they came across a woolly mammoth skull. And what it is, is they figured out it was a sinkhole. And the prehistoric animals would come here to get a drink of water and slide down into the bottom of this hole and couldn't get out. And they died and their remains are all here. So, we'll see. All right, well we made it through Custer State Park, seen three and some few stragglers, herds of buffalo. That was pretty cool. Lots of uh, lots of prairie dogs and uh, two pronghorn antelope. So uh, I made her down here to Hot Springs. Got a little shaved ice thing out of there. Went over to the meat market. Got some beef jerky or buffalo jerky and beef sticks. <coughs> Into the Phillips and got a Gatorade. It's 99 degrees and it felt like 130 coming down that road into town. It was hot. It was hot. So, not sure what we're going to do from here on out. But I'll keep you posted. Looks like a lot of them come in from the west. like 14 feet tall. Huh, that ball up there is where the first tusk was found and that's 18 feet up there. So they've moved a lot of dirt. The layers in the sediment. So cool. This battery is about to die, but if you ever get a chance to get out here in uh, 
Hot Springs, South Dakota. Twelve bucks to get in here, and it's definitely worth it. This is really, really amazing. They have a crane up there for lifting the skulls and the bones out of the pit, out of the sinkhole. I'm sure you could probably Google it and get information on this. We just stumbled across it. A guy at the campgrounds told us about it, so we ended up down here, so we took stopped to check it out. It's uh, it's really amazing. Really amazing. Okay, I only did about 170 miles today, but a lot of it was on 10, 15 mile an hour road. Uh, calling it an early night, it is just screaming hot. It was so hot on the road that we actually put long sleeve shirts on to so you wouldn't feel the heat. It's counterintuitive, but it worked. It, it, the air temperature was 100 degrees. It was 99 to 100 degrees, and then out on the road, the interstates on the way back, it was had to be 115. It was just baking hot, and the sun's just, it's not right here, but just cooking. So yeah, it's about 10 after six this time. So we stopped and got some stuff. And we're gonna fire the grill up and cook some steaks, and. Call it an early night.